It is September 1st, 1814, and I have managed a true one tag, one culture, one faith. And you can see here there's no possible subjects to release, which is kind of funny. I want to show you guys how to get here, because I see a lot of guides that show Austria's great for world conquest one faith, but they only show the first 50 or 70 years. And there's a lot that you need to know after the first 70 years. So I want to take you guys through the whole experience. This will probably be a three-part series. That's the plan. So for part one, we're just going to be covering the Revoke. I managed to Revoke in 1499, which is pretty solid timing. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoy this. And if you do, please consider subscribing. And of course, look forward to part two and three. I'm not just going to take you through the Revoke and then abandon you and say good luck, right? I'm going to take you through the entire process. But at any rate, let's get into the gameplay. We're going to start with the states. Get those out of the way. We're going to be taking the admin mana privilege and the mill mana privilege, but not the diplo, because I like my crown land. So here's a look at my estates, go ahead and seize land. We're going to be turning off our maintenance and mothlung forts day one. And we are going to be grabbing an alliance with Poland day one. I'm going to start improving relations with Burgundy and get a spine arc with Provence. For rivals, we'll do Bohemia, the Ottomans, and Venice. We're going to get an alliance with Castile and Aragon. So I'll get rid of this fort here and get rid of this fort as well. I'm going to be building up each stack to a 12-4. We do need to work on improving relations with the electors. So we'll go ahead and do that with our extra diplomat. I will ally to Saxony, and I can also ally to the Palatinate, and then we'll do some improve relations for the others. So let's improve with probably just Cologne and Mainz eventually. We can grab these Royal Marriages, the ones we actually want to keep. I'm not going to Royal Marry the Electors just in case. You never know. I probably won't have the slots to keep those alliances. So we're looking pretty good. We're just waiting for claims, of course. Forgot advisors, guys. That's really tragic. Um, it happens. We'll just go ahead and grab advisors now. We're going to grab this half off level 3 and this half off level 2. We'll be developing the gold a bit to kind of compensate for that. Like, I probably should sell my ships, but I just really can't be asked. We need one more elector to be opinions up with us. Let's do mains. So I'm going to get a claim on Lorraine. Go ahead and declare war on Lorraine. And Janelle and Santa will be there, but that's fine. I can call in Saxony just to kind of provide a distraction. We might call in Platinum a little later, but he's going to try to steal the land, so wait a bit we didn't quite get our maintenance all the way on but we should be okay definitely going to put my leader in the army though yeah we'll just go ahead and call in the platinum now i think that i've got this province you shouldn't try to steal it i know he wants it though oh he doesn't even want it never mind i'll build spider with burgundy though i need to get to genoa and who else is in the war vienna so yeah those two guys could be dealt with pretty easily well, i guess they're already getting sienna so i can do that that's fine so i'm just going to make sienna lose the war in whatever way just you know normal stuff couldn't end that war so Genoa will siege him down, and then we can probably end the war at that point. And then we'll be ready to go to war with Burgundy. Grab the secure electors here, and we're going to grab the first path. We're kind of bleeding money a little bit. We'll just continue to dev the gold a bit, though. So I'll go ahead and just do that. I'm not going to use mill points, of course. We will expand infrastructure and just kind of keep devving that up. Try not to spend any mill points, because it's super important that you don't fall behind. Got the Austrian silver here, though. Anytime I get events like this, I want to be sure to not get the reform desire, because the sooner the Reformation happens, the worse. So I'm going to end the war with Genoa. It's just going to be warps, trade power, a bit of money. And we're going to go ahead and end this war. I'm going to cancel subjects with Lorraine. Grab these two provinces and a little bit of money. And then we can go ahead and fabricate a claim on Burgundy. I think we wait a few months to go to war because he's going to hit mill four. And if we are late to that, it's going to be rough. So we're just going to go ahead and seize land for now. Go ahead and ask Saxony to prepare for war. Let's carry favors with Castile. That'll make things a hell of a lot easier if we can get Castile in there. And let's, yeah, let's um, ask him to prepare for war. We should be able to call him in mid-war that way. Okay, so I'm going to declare war on Burgundy. Oh, I need to mill four. Let's scrap that. Yeah, I believe Castile should be more than happy to join in just a little bit. This is why I love Saxony. He gets destroyed, so I can siege things for free. Oh, I forgot to call him Castile. He's probably at war now, huh? Oh, he likes that guy? What an animal. Saxony's getting bullied, though. Okay, I got those sieges done. I'm going to try to beeline it over the... Intel, not Intel, but the one to the left of it. Oh, he's leaving. He's scared. Oh, yes, the stability. Okay, we stab up. Maybe we greed and stab up twice. Uh, it's kind of bad, but sure, I'll do it. I know I want three stab for converting, so it's kind of bad to do that, but also it's it seems like maybe it's okay. If I have three stab for converting the province, it's super good. It's like way faster. Saxony will quit the war, and then we'll, we'll be able to win, I think. Like, it, it'll be over. Do we make this in time? It would be really nice if we did. Oh, cool. Yeah, we're going to crush him here. We make this in time. That'd be the dream. I don't think so. No. <laughs> of course not. 
Of course not. So I'm going to end the war here. Just going to take his capital, and that should be fine. We'll wait till the end of the month, or closer to the end of the month, because that way he won't rival me. So there we go. Let's end the war here on January 24th, a little bit closer to the end of the month. Just grab his capital and nothing else. That's perfect. And then, of course, he's capitals into the HRE. We can return that land. We can return land here. But be sure to return the top province first because it's in the HRE. If you did it otherwise, then you'd be giving away HRE land to a non HRE guy. Just be careful with that. But we hopefully can get our alliance back with Burgundy. Or not back, but for the first time. We'll insult France. Yeah, we can hope that we don't get rivaled in time. I may need to end it a little bit closer to the end of the month. But, you know, okay, yeah, we, you, you can see we have the friendly status with Burgundy. So we should be able to, we should be good to go. Go ahead and grab that alliance. So we're just going to jump right to this next war. It's going to be a restoration of Union Bohemia. And we're going to call in Poland to help us, or carry us, however you want to say it. And we're going to fabricate claims on Venice during this war, because that's going to be our next war. And we can go ahead and accept the royal marriage, of course. They've changed that in this patch, so that's kind of nice. Yeah, Aragorn's going to break alliance with me. I don't care, because he did what he needed to do by helping me with Burgundy. So that's totally fine with me. I don't mind. Oh, there we go. He broke his alliance. Burgundy's going to war with Bar. I don't really mind if he does that either. He's in the HRE now, so, you know, he can do whatever. I could carry favors with him if I wanted to. We could probably start looking to improve relations in Italy just little by little. I could dev the gold a little bit more, too. I like the idea of diving this to 30, though I don't know if it's good. So do this at your own risk. I'm going to have Switzerland and Newell with France and give me money. War up trade power. That should be fine. So I'm going to end the war with Bohemia and take the Union in Prague. It is important that you take Prague for the Great Project, of course. And we will need to improve relations with Bohemia now. So go ahead and improve relations with him. Grabbing a claim on Venice here. And I got a mission done. I, yeah, I could grab this. I could grab this and get the claims. I'm not planning to attack Poland, though, at any point soon. And I guess I'll grab this mission too. So I got the Union with Hungary here. So that's good. I'm going to go ahead and declare war on Venice here. And it's good to get this war done before the Shadow Kingdom event happens if you want to invite people to the HRE like Dalmatia. So keep that in mind. Yeah, I mean, hopefully they're not here to kill me. Oh, I mean, I have ambushed him. Yeah, you see that ambush? So I'm going to get Royal Hungary here. That'll make him into incorporated PU. It also kills my heir, which is kind of nice. Oh, this guy's terrible. I have to get rid of him. I had no choice. I'd rather be in a PU with under France. Okay. Okay, ministerial promotion here. And let's make sure we grab an advisor. Okay, we're going to continue to dev the gold towards 30 for age ability. I could call in Burgundy to this war. I might as well. I don't see any harm. I'm hiring an admiral, dude. We're taking this as serious business. Where's the rest of his navy, though? Oh, no. I think we're losing. Oh, yeah, we lost. Rip. Damn it. I tried. Poland. Why does everyone want to just get in this war now? Now that I'm winning, they're like, yeah, we'll help. Run. You may, you win these. Yes. I made it to his capital. I don't know how, but it's a blessing. Why did he not pull out his 23 ships to stop me from crossing there? I have no idea why. But blessed be the RNG. It's better to not ask questions in those scenarios. So I have to make sure that the Teutons, like, I don't like the Teutons. So I'm going to ask them for an alliance mid-war so that they obviously won't be able to do that. And then I'm going to like set the pro his entire nation to my interest and then set to hostile. Sometimes this doesn't even work. Sometimes he will still do some relations with you and you're screwed. So I'm just going to end the war here. Try not to be too greedy. Just making them return provinces to the HRE, one to the Papal States. Then I'm trying to connect the HRE to the Ottomans land, basically. And from there, I can just probably like get some money. That should be fine. So that gives us some mission, secure Croatia. And we almost have 50 authority to pass the reform. But I'm overextended here. Obviously, I just need to release um, the boy. So let's release our, our subject here. When we resume the game, he should join the HRE, grabbing us a little bit of authority there. We still can't pass the reform because we're overextended and people don't like that. Okay, maybe in the month tick, though, it should go down, I think. Because I only have one province overextended. That's not true. I have two provinces overextended. I can't give this away to anybody, though. That's the problem. I could return it, but that's... Yeah, it's kind of awkward. Yeah, well, I want to pass the next reform, though, before we go into, like, much more wars. But I just can't because of my overextension at the moment. Like, you do not want this guy to join the HRE before 1460, or he will lose the land to Poland. And it's really annoying. I don't know how I'm going to fix it. Like, he's going to improve to 100. He's going to be able to get there. So how do I fix it? I have to get my relations below 100 before the month tick. I'm going to get rid of religious diplomats, which is unfortunate because it's dip level prep, but it lowers my relations with the Teutons enough. I don't really know what else I can do. But sucks because it's going to make it worse to pass the first reform now. I'm going to grab the Diplo privilege. I kind of forgot about this and should have done it earlier, but I kind of just spaced. It's not a big deal, though. So this is just about to finish coring. 
And we could probably try to get a Diplo Rep advisor just for a little bit to you know give us a better chance. Unfortunately, yeah, we lost Diplo Rep when we lost that privilege. So I can pass my first reform here. That's looking good. Yeah, I should have granted strong duchies a while ago, I think, but I didn't, so it's fine. But I can get a claim on the Ottomans before my spine arc goes down, because I did get caught. That's fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and declare on uh, Bosnia, Serbia. Call in Poland, I guess. I don't think he'll try to steal the land, right? I hope not. I definitely didn't need him. Okay, Shadow Kingdom's here. And of course, we're going to reign in Italy. Oh, I need to start converting now. That's right. Okay, so let's. Uh, we need to find a missionary strength advisor. Let's go ahead and look for that. We got to state up Bohemia, then promote culture, then on the state, concentrate development, state up again, pay for the full state, grab the missionary strength edict, and then grab the two privileges in the clergy. So enforce you need the faith and religious culture. But yeah, we just have to like play the you lose money game until you find the missionary strength advisor. But we can convert Prague already. But of course, the missionary strength advisor is going to make it go up 10 times faster. We can like exploit dev once. It's not a huge deal to do this. It's just like the less dev the better. We need to play the let's see how much money we lose until we get the guy. There we go. Okay, so we've got chosen to reign in the Italians. That completes a mission for us, Italian ambition. I'll probably just do the peaceful approach. I need to start improving relations with Italy though, speaking of. We want to get them dealt with as soon as possible. Milan likes me because I returned land at least. So I'm gonna end the war. It's gonna be a full invasion with both of them, of course. I'm gonna have the separate piece. Okay, that's fine. So separate piece, Serbia colonization money, and then colonization money with Bosnia. Look at the coalition, it's getting up there, but it's it's whatever. We're gonna go ahead and release Bosnia, Serbia. So we'll go ahead and attack Wallachia, Kobodrate, Herzegovina. Another easy war. Member of the Azure family has become designated heir of Austria. Burgundian heir. Holy shit. They just gave me a 565 from a weird event. How OP is Austria, guys? I'm getting coalition. Let's make sure we're getting voted for. Yeah, we're fine. We're going to have to work on the coalition a bit. And of course, just improve relations with people. Although I think uh, I'll actually work with Italy first. I don't, I'm not going to work on the coalition actually yet. Let's figure out Italy. Is that event rare? I've never seen that event before. But it's super good. I wonder if it was random or if it's scripted to be that good of a guy. I have no idea. But yeah, these guys are screwing up my authority because they're the wrong religion. I'll have them stop doing that. Let's see if there is some... Yeah, knowledge sharing. There is some knowledge sharing to be had. Who's, who's got me? All right, Ferrara. The Papal States. Okay, we'll pay the Papal States to give us the institution. I'm just going to fully annex both these guys. So I'm going to end the war here. going to give Bosnia these two things, Hungary these two things, and some money. Well, that's all taken care of. And I guess Fergus is alive. He's in a coalition, though, so I can't murder him at the moment. But in time, we will murder him. It's all good. I could try to hold up my Diplo points. Grab Abin 4 here. I really want my idea. So I'm going to try to save my Diplo points and get that going. We're trying to reign in Italy, but it's going to be difficult. Might need to give them money. I mean, I could try the alliance route. Sometimes that works. Maybe that's the best way. I could abdicate here. I think it's the way. And let me make sure I'm being voted for before I abdicate. And what I can do is switch my government reform to this elected monarchy to get some extra authority. But I'll go ahead and abdicate. So we'll get the uh, 10 authority, and then you kind of get a, a double bonus of authority. So we'll just go, like, I mean, I, I could look to see if there's a better ruler, but, like, yeah, there's not. <laughs> we'll just grab elect... Ferdinand, get a bit of more authority. So authority is looking pretty good. Not too far away from next reform. The Teutons, the their thing didn't fire. Usually in 1460, they they defect to Danzig, but I don't I don't know. They're kind of just not. Maybe the RNG didn't happen that way. I'll focus Abin next. I feel like I'd rather have that going. The situation with the Teutons is weird because they didn't defect like they normally do. So I don't really know what to think about that. I could change my opinion now to friendly. So let's go with. Lose Diplomats, again, could probably get this event to trigger. I guess we don't want the event to trigger, actually, because it would it would, it would be bad now. So maybe I shouldn't have done that. We'll keep an eye on it. It should be fine. Let's stop improving with him, though, just in case that he figures out to improve with me or something. I don't want that. Okay, we converted our province, so that's good. More authority. I don't think we want to reign in Italy until we have the extra 10%, though. It's kind of just wasteful. I'm going to go to war with Denmark. Imperial ban. Call in my one ally that will help. And that should be fine. Brace institution. All right. Tech six. We're not going to take tech four, obviously. I don't know why that's obvious, but it is. Okay. But we still need to be improving with this area here. I could diplo bank and I hate it, but I could. But I'm so bad at diplo banking. It's terrible. It wasn't meant for me because I just forget and then I don't get the refund. And then it's just like, wow, what an idiot. So we can get our ab into five and we will be picking up diplomatic ideas. Go ahead and grab that. I'll get white piece with the two tongues. 
Oh, they're getting murdered by Poland separately. As long as I get the authority at some point. I'll grab Justified Wars here for Sage Ability. I want to just end this war as soon as possible to pass the reform, but I need to have him release whole scene, and that's still too much war score. I should have waited to the Golden Age, but I'm I don't want to diplo bank anymore because I hate it. But it would have been better to pass the Golden Age first. But either way, we'll be fine. We'll get our first three done. That's really the important part, so I don't really mind. But yeah, we do want to end this war as soon as possible, so we can pass the reform. Currently wasting a bit of uh, authority. I'll have Denmark release Holstein and money. I could do this mission. Of course, I'm not going to do it right now, but I've got the mission complete, the Imperial border. Give some authority. And um, we can just get a Diplomat Advisor, I believe, for a little bit. Okay, okay, of course. He, he died. Okay, Diplomat Advisor, that should allow us to pass our second reform. A little annoyed that Poland took all that land, but it is what it is. So I'll just ally this guy for like a day, and then he'll want to join the HRE. Pick the middle option, we'll get a bunch of authority for that. Dissolve that. Let's just ally to random people. I'm not random, they're people that I need to rein in, but you know. I'm just going around and allying all these princes. Although I probably shouldn't be doing that yet because I need this, you know, I kind of need to wait. It's fine. I don't mind if I'm losing a little bit of Diplo for this short time. I just got these people to go and then we're good. I'm already getting my alliance breaking though. The Void, chill. Have some money and you'll feel better. So we got some authority there and we were able to, we're going to go ahead and get more authority for our mission. This one here. This was at 43. We still kind of are in a zone where we don't... Obviously, we can't rain in Italy. That'd be way too much. So it's a little bit awkward for a moment. I mean, it's not too, too bad. But we're kind of just going to be sitting around now. Probably grab the bookkeeping so I can get rid of my inflation. Get rid of that. So third reform here. That's done. Looking good. We're going to go ahead and rain in Italy. We just need to um, scornfully insult one of our allies or something. So we've allied everybody else except him. Well, we did ally him, but he broke it. So scornfully insult my ally. Sure. Then we can reign in Italy, and we should grab a bit of authority. Let's start getting claims with the Papal States, and let's use our diplomats to just improve with neighboring. This is this weird event where he wants Bert Flanders to join the HRE that's like, I, you, this is a rare one, I think. We'll take it, of course, but it's odd. I was like, what even is that? I don't know what the conditions are for that one, but it's weird. Yeah, so he, we're nearly at enough to pass the next reform here. We don't quite have the Diplo rep, though. We got a negative Diplo rep mod. Isn't great, but we should get actually more diplomat soon. Max on mill points. Um, can we get the? Oh yeah, tech seven. That's great. We can get cannons rolling. Cannons are going to be a huge help, especially against the likes of the Ottomans. I'll go ahead and start the Golden Age here. That'll make the ideas a little bit cheaper. Maybe I can then get that diplomat up. Oh no. Can I solve this event? Can I not talk to it for a few months? Just give me one more month to not talk to it, please. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna grab this one here. It gives me some diplomat up, and then we'll do this. They will have our help, and then we can pass the fourth reform. Looking good. And we do need to build our cannons, so let's get those going. Okay, so we're just getting some cannons going, and then we're going to get ready to go to war. Coalition's gone. Let's head over to the Ottomans, and we can get in that war. Declare war on the Ottomans, call in my allies. Shouldn't be too hard of a war. And it's the perfect time to fight this war now that my authority is just very low. Because I'm going to need to core up some stuff, and you can't really pass things when you have to core stuff. It's really kind of annoying. Yeah, so if you're doing like a war that you actually have to core things, you really have to plan it out accordingly. But we love to see cannons. We might be able to cross the water if we're lucky. I have an idea. I'll use my ships that I never used in this campaign. And I'll make him come out and get me. What is he going to... Oh. Guys, it's working to help. Okay, well, it worked. But I still can't cross the water. <laughs> the, the entire fleet is gone. It didn't even work either. It would have felt better if I at least got across the water, but it didn't. Do I just walk around? Fine. I'll walk around. Fine. I'm not happy about it, though. Yeah, so we had to walk all the way around here, but we're here now. Assault! love the assaults, you know? They feel so great. But we're not going to assault again. Okay, we're a little on manpower. Got to be careful. I have been seven here, and that means we can grab religious. We're playing to one faith, after all. We can grab flexible negotiations, which will be helpful. Take a bit more land in the war. Got a mission here. All right, Imperial Sentency, sure. We have a problem with the Pope not wanting to join the HRE because um, he has too much land. So he does have to be brought down a peg, but we'll do that after this war. Oh, I should probably have my corruption slider on the max because I don't make money. That's not why. No, because I'm unbalanced. I'm going to grab Expanded Royal Court. I'd only recommend Expanded Royal Court if you're planning to play into, like, absolutism. That's what I think. We're going to end the war here. I'm going to do a defection, but I'm also going to be having to take Albania and then just some stuff that's not going to go back to either Byzantium or Bulgaria. And same with this. It won't quite end the war, but yeah, I'll give it a month. I'm sure you will. Oh, come on. Why are you like this? The double fake. All right, we'll try that again. 
We're definitely gonna get like this is just a disaster waiting to happen though. Like I just want to like return it to Kree, but he'll probably get killed if I do that. But I don't want it. We're gonna concentrate some dev here, and we probably want to get rid of this fort and this fort. I got the Ottoman Menace and liberate the Balkans. Good siege ability. We gotta deal with the Pope. We could do that now, I suppose. I'm just gonna return this to Crete. I literally don't want it. They're probably gonna get murdered by the Ottomans, but like, whatever. I have to do another war anyways, so I'm not going to that island. I want to get rid of this too. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. Re I could release Corfu. Uh, these both these islands I hate. I don't. I don't even want these. I'm tempted just to, to return them, but they'll probably get conquered. I guess it doesn't matter if they get conquered. I don't even know why I took them if that's the case, but I'm just gonna return these because um, I don't want them. And they're going to revolt anyways, and I don't have ships, so... Yeah, they got killed immediately. He declared an Empress immediately. Maybe I should have... I mean, it doesn't matter. I'll just take it back in the next war. But I'm going to go to war with the Papal States now. And just jump into that one. It just needs to be done. Although I probably should have provoked Rebels first, now that I'm thinking about it. But it's... I guess it's fine. I'm going to go ahead and make the Papal States release Provence, just because he needs to have less provinces to join the HRE. So he's going to have less provinces. That's just... That's how it is. I got this nice... Event here where you get the Diplo rep and idea cost. I'm going to seize land from my subject because he can't be trusted to not give military access. And we'll have to like dev him a bit to make him happy. But yeah, he literally can't be trusted. I don't care if you're mad. Like you can't be trusted. How does that feel? I'll make sure I put my subjects to sleep though. So I got the Abergunian inheritance. And unfortunately these rebels are going the wrong way. But we're just going to, um, once we finish coring, we can lower the autonomy and new rebels will spawn. So it's not a big deal. But we get eight authority here. And then we should get a bit more. We, of course, want to be able to inherit them. So we'll do that. Disloyal, is it just um, Serbia? Yeah, I don't care. Serbia's just mad because I couldn't trust him. And Burgundy's gotten pretty huge. So it's actually kind of nice. Like he's taking a bit of more land than normal because it's such a late inheritance. I kind of prefer the later inheritances, I think. Just, you know, more land. I could work on this mission here. I want the Diplo rep. That would be nice. So I guess let's create a template of just 70,000 guys. I feel like this mission is like, it requires too much guys. It's annoying, but it's so weird that you can just like you know like you can just build them to, you just build them and delete them. It's just kind of wasting all your manpower for a bit. But we'll go ahead and recruit these seventy thousand guys and waste a lot of money in the process. Maybe some of these rebels will live and go the right way. You never know. Like I can dream. Come on, go the other way. They're so gonna die if they don't go the other way. No, I think they're both dead. Great, love to see it. We're losing so. Oh, sh I forgot to get rid of the guys. Oh no. Oh well. Well, okay. We'll grab this mission here. But that was a little bit of a questionable choice, leaving those guys to just destroy me. And I'm going to grab that privilege, of course, so we get the extra Diplo rep. And we'll get rid of these 70,000 guys that are destroying us. I was wondering why I was taking a loan a month. Our inflation's looking better, though. But yeah, we we lose a lot of money. We're getting uh, interest is quite high at the banks these days. They just don't they don't get it. Yeah, both the rebel groups died, so that's fine. Um, we'll just have to get the next ones. This could be bad. We need to make sure we pass this reform before that pops now. We're actually in trouble. Because we don't... We, we wasted a bit of authority, but we don't want to waste, like... I think we'll be fine. But that would be not good if we wasted all that authority from this. It's a quite a bit. Okay. Sure. That was quick. I lost the claims, though. No. Now I gotta fabricate claims like an animal. I don't want to fabricate claims like an animal. Um, yeah, we're over our gov cap, so we have to give out a land, right? Which sucks. But, you know, what do you do? And we probably need to get rid of troops that we don't need. I mean, we're fine. We just need to get rid of these forts. Bankruptcy, looming forts. I want to keep a couple forts that are bordering down here, though. Like, we are going to keep those forts. I probably need to get rid of troops as well. Like, I don't make money. We need this to happen soon. Okay, we're good. So we're going to pass the fifth reform. And then we should be getting some authority from this. So that'll be helpful. And then we just need to work on our scenario over here again. So I'm going to, like, raise autonomy. Oh, no, I've, i got to full state something. I'll full state this, and then full core it, and then we'll go ahead and we'll probably do it to like this one as well. And then full core it, and then we can just go ahead and change the autonomy. We could look at this mission. It's probably worth seeing if we could do this. So if we have five provinces, that's five provinces. Hmm, that's quite a bit. 25 dev and three buildings, I guess. We'll just go take some loans and build buildings where we need to. We can just, um, we have extra mill points. We can encourage dev and... Just like dev up th this, it's fine. Like dev that up to that. We're, so that's one, and then we could build a building here for two. Just waste more mill points. Okay, so that's two. This has two buildings, so we just need a third. We're gonna we're gonna dev this more, but we can't right now. So that that should be three, and then we just need to build buildings over here. So build that, and then build 
We, we need three buildings there. Okay, so I think that, that'll be fine. I think that's reasonable. You get 5% authority. It's not uh, great. It's a mission here. Imperial Capitals I'm trying to get. And just a heads up, you don't want to add anything to the HRE over here. Because obviously that would be wasteful. You wouldn't, you, you'll wouldn't. get the authority when they join on their own, but not otherwise. But we were going to get back to this. Um, we're going to be lowering the autonomy so that they revolt. And over here as well. Could probably refinance too. Probably a good idea because we have so much more land now. The inheritance. So let's get new burger loans and see if we can do a little bit of refinancing. That's a good plan. We, we at least make money. Like barely, but it still counts, you know? So we got the uh, these two guys. It shouldn't be long. So the Pope joined the Empire and that completes a mission for us as well. So we get better authority. Probably it's time that we start building the next building, right? No. We need to take more loans. <laughs> Love it. So I'm going to have to full state this in Macedonia. I'm I need to get the rebels to pop. So I'm going to piss them off. But what? Yeah, I'd be like, you better be mad. And then I guess we'll get them mad up here as well. No, yeah, we'll, we'll get them mad up here. And uh, we'll get those rebels to pop. Independence for Dalmatia. Dalmatia is already a guy. Like, he can have it. I don't care. Sure, I'll just return it to Dalmatia. It's yours, buddy. Enjoy the garbage. We need another land, right? We just have a lot of land now. That's fine. I'll get rid of this land in a minute once I can defect and stuff, but it'll be a little bit of time before we get there. Okay, I got the Imperial Capitals. It's going to be giving me a 5% growth. It's not a ton, but it, you know, it every little bit counts. So I'm sure our rebels are close. Yeah, they're both at 50%. Any day now. Hey, we got a random 5 authority for a pulse event, I think. Why not? All right, so provoke the rebels in Bulgaria. I am recommend making a backup for when you get these rebels, because if they go over here, they're going to get killed. So it's, and it's just RNG which way they go, so you may have to alt it four. So we got the rebels to go here. It took a couple alt it fours, of course, and we can provoke the next ones, and we can play the game again. But I have the feeling they're just going to go the right way the first time, because that's what they should do. I deserve it. You have to go left. Do the right thing. You did the wrong thing. No! Do the right thing for once in your life. Another couple Alta Fours, and we got the Rebels to go in the right direction. Thank goodness. It's a little bit annoying to do that. The plan is to get rid of the Rebels, and then pass the next reform, and then we'll go and attack France, I believe would be the way. Because I have there's a lot of stuff that France could be willing to give me. So we'll be back in five years, and we'll get the defections. They're all done now. Um, we should be good on that front. And then we can attack the Ottomans again, and we'll finish off that mission, of course. And we're looking good to get the next reform passed very easily. Like, we'll get it without any drama. Okay, so first centralization reform is good to go. So three more reforms to go. We're at 1488. Pretty solid. I'll just declare war on France, calling everybody that wants to go. I don't really want to invade yet. I need to get... Um, well, I guess I'm walking through his land, but I I kind of need to group... Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, that's all that for. Why was that so bad? What happened? Can't even believe that. So I'm going to declare war on France, calling all my allies, and we'll jump to four speed. This war is probably the hardest war left for the Revoke, I would say. Maybe in the campaign, too, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Scorched and run? Okay, we're good. Why can he do this? He could just walk right through the forts, no worries. You can see here the AI is cheating. I have a fort here, but he doesn't care. He just walks past it anyways. Just be jealous of it. You could never do that, but he can. This is scary how much we're getting murdered. What is this? Why is he so OP? Why is France like the goat here? Why is he so broken? He just has broken morale, I guess. Yeah, his troops are just cracked, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to grab the uh, morale from this, so I have a little bit better of morale. Didn't help at all. Poor uniforms. Why Why you like this? Oh, it goes, it goes away, like, literally in a few months. But still, oh, I, I, it didn't tick, but, like, yeah, his morale is just insane. Frederick de Raphael or whatever, Lessons of the Hundred Years War. This general has four shock. He's just crushing me is all. It feels bad. But we can just base race. It's fine. Don't fight me, please. I just want a base race. No. All I want to do is base race. Let's let's agree not to actually fight. If I get mill eight, actually, that's probably going to be helpful. Maybe I shouldn't barrage for a bit. Because mill eight would definitely make a huge difference. Also worth a lot of people. Morocco. It's so weird. What a cursed alliance. We're, we're trying the um, avoid France strategy. Where you just, you know. Oh, no. He's found me. It's over. Run. Burn it and run. <laughs> Burn it and run. It's the only way. We're going to have expanded tempo rights for our fourth objective. And we're going to add a bunch of stuff to the HRE with this war. Better keep an eye on these defections. I think we'll be good. We probably should maybe just leave a stack over there to deal with it when they pop. But we can look at the province history and... No, we got plenty of time. Yeah, we, 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 it's going to be um, actually 
92, so we actually have plenty of time before you gotta worry about that. You don't want to actually fight him, apparently. He's just destroying everybody that he fights. He has cracked morale. So I'm just trying to siege him down and not fight. But he's gonna kill me here. I think we have to run, probably. If he goes to this province, yeah, we, we need to run. Let's just leave. We almost had the siege, but uh, maybe I could have gone for it. He seems more interested in going for these guys. I just didn't want to get caught out. We'll see where he goes. Because I'm not, I'm just trying to not fight him. He has a lot of guys and his morale is like scary, scary. Is he mill eight? He is also mill eight. The good news is that France can't be everywhere, but he's destroying us. He's like just murdering everybody. We have so many losses compared to them. Lithuania got murdered. Oh my goodness. If he's like within two provinces of us, we just have to leave whatever we're sieging. That's the plan right now. Maybe when we hit mill eight, we'll change that tactic. But for now, we just like have to run if, if he's like within two. That's the way. Run if he's within two. Oh, we're too late. They're dead. Man, they came out of nowhere. No. They were weak. I'll just buy more guys. It's fine. Don't think I won't, okay? But yeah, those guys just got comp- Those 20,000 guys destroyed. This guy is correct. He's kind of terrifying. I'll recruit another 40,000. <laughs> I have money. Well, not really. I mean, I have debt, but you know, it's like the same thing as money. And I can grab mil eight, so hopefully we're not like so murdered. But I feel like we're just getting murdered, like really bad but yeah avoiding fighting seems to be the best tactic like everyone just has to take their turn getting sacrificed to france and then you know we all try to like siege it down sneakily that's the play right now because no one actually has a chance against that guy everyone just goes and just dies why is he so good just the morale five morale it's not even that much better than me but it feels like it feels like i'm a freaking native compared to him we might have to reinforce if he goes for it yeah we can try i don't know if we can make it in time he's like he does murder so fast. No, we're not making it in time. But I think I could be able to beat him there. We beat him in a battle. Let's go. We did it. We just had to outnumber him three to one. And everything was fine. It's kind of brutal, though. Like, how much better he is. He just crushes us. This war is actually, like, pretty hard. We're just going to siege him down. Eventually. He'll lose. He's getting pretty sieged. On the, you know, on one side of things, so. But yeah, I do want to get this war to get over with. So I can add a bunch of land to the HRE. That'd be good. Let's just fight peace Naples. He seems to want to leave. He's just going to abandon his ally. I was hoping this war would be a little faster, but it's taken a while. Spade, why are you sieging here? You need to defend your nation, man. What are you doing? Kind of being an idiot. We're, we're closing in on the end of this war. Castile quit. But he was getting destroyed. He lost something to France. Dude, I'm embarrassed for you right now. You gave up something to France when he's literally like halfway sieged or more. I mean, it's kind of nice actually, because now I can just get all of it. And then I can like release Gascony. Or something. That'd be nice. Let's just go for the quick carpet siege. I'm gonna use a control group here. Then we'll just um, carpet siege real quick. Oh, I don't know where France's armies are, but they're probably like... I don't know. What? What? Like, where is he? Where did he go? Oh, he's just dead. I guess somebody killed him. Or maybe he just... It actually could be the case he disbanded his army because owns so little land. But yeah, people are willing to leave now. I'm just gonna wipe these people if they want to go home. We have been improving the neighboring a lot, so we, I think we're actually doing pretty good with our relations. But yeah, we're just gonna peace out people. I'm not getting much war score for piecing these guys out, though. Somehow, like, he still is holding on to hope. I guess Morocco's kind of big. And the defection should be, yeah, next year. Keeping our eye on that, for sure. Bulgaria's here. So we're going to go ahead and war with them, of course. So we'll just go ahead and declare war on Bulgaria. We're going to give them the carpet siege. They shouldn't even have troops yet. So it should be a really, really easy war, obviously. It should last, like, three seconds. Colonization with Bulgaria. A little bit of cash. We're not going to court, obviously. We're going to be releasing... Bulgaria. And we'll do the same thing for Byzantium in just a moment here when he defects. Okay, there's Byzantium. So I'm going to declare war on Byzantium. And of course, this is just a super, super easy war. So we're just going to do the Carpet Siege. We'll send a couple extra guys to the capital so they can get that done. So I'm going to end this war here. And I'm going to take Barry and then everything Gascony owns. I'm probably going to get... I'm not going to get coalitioned, but obviously it's a lot of AE. And I have a lot of nations to release now. So we're probably going to be looking to get our next reform or and then some maybe? We'll, we'll see. You gotta be strategic when you do this, because um, obviously you don't want to waste authority, and I probably have a you know, a very large amount of authority to be gained here. So we're going to start with the France provinces. Yeah, so we, we release Barry, and then we're going to release Gascony there, and we'll see how much authority that gives us. It should be quite a bit, I would guess. One from him, but like obviously this guy's going to be a lot more. Okay, so we're up to 38. That looks good. Probably we release one of these guys to start and see where... I mean, we have to release both, but... They're pretty big, so we'll start with Bulgaria. So we'll go ahead and release Bulgaria and see where that puts us. We'll have to force Bulgaria's religion as well. But let's see what that puts us at. 
There we go. 48. We're going to have to release Byzantium. Uh, you know, we're overextended, but we're going to do it in a way that it'll count towards the next reform. And then, of course, we have these missions here. And this mission gives authority. So we're obviously going to be not using it right now. We're going to just hold on to it. So I think right now we're just going to wait and we're just going to chill. Obviously, we're kind of overextended. We're not that overextended, though. And well, it'll be like, you know, a couple of months. I'm going to go ahead and release Byzantium here. So I'm going to go ahead and pass the second centralization one. And then I'm going to force Byzantium into the HRE. Or rather, force his religion. Force religion. He's not going to like it, of course. They'll actually need to, um, like, I'll roll a Marium so that he's not mad. Or not as mad. But we'll get a good chunk of authority for him joining, probably, when he does. So 13. Not, not like crazy, but obviously it's a good chunk. So we'll just do our next war here. It's going to be against the Ottomans. And it should be our last war until we've revoked. So declaring war on the Ottomans. And I'm going to call him Poland in Castile. Make it super overkill. Make the war goal Cephalonia. And I want to make sure I get that war goal straight away. But the Ottomans are pretty much dead. Oh, what? We made it? No way. I did not expect to just walk over here for free. But we made it. The Ottomans blew it there. They just let us walk over here for free. I'm going to end this war here. Just take the provinces here. Looks fine to me. I'm going to release some people. That I, don't, I, I don't want Crete. I don't want it. I'm just going to release some subjects. Although I'll be over my... Diplo limit, I won't be for long. So just release, release Corfu. I think they should all be able to join the HRE. I might have to force the religions, but they'll figure it out. I'm just going to grant Byzantium a bunch of the garbage I don't want. I don't want to be overextended, of course. But he'll get rebels for sure, probably. We almost have Deus Volt, too. That's kind of cool. Not that there's a ton of value for that yet, but it's nice to have. I hate to abdicate, but I think that I'm going to do it. Just because I'll get the extra authority. But he was so good, you know? It's very sad. But of course, we'll get this here. Perfect. So before I click this, I'm going to hit this so I can get the window. So then we'll click that. Although I guess that really won't work because the Pope's going to leave the HRE. I don't know if I can. We'll, we'll just see what it looks like. I don't know. Like The Pope's going to leave the HRE pretty immediately. And it's gonna, I'm going to lose a ton of authority. I don't know if I can hold the event long enough. Like, maybe? So the Pope left the Empire, but I was able to hold this event long enough that we were still able to use it. I don't grab this mission here. I just need to... Um, I'm just going to place Relative on Throne on a few people. I think that they need high relations too, right? 120. Okay, so we got this mission done here. It's going to give us a bonus diplomatic reputation, which will help with our reforms. Oh, but I, need, I should grab the Ottoman thing here. Grab that. Grab this. That's going to give us some authority, of course. We'll think. I think I'll just return a few provinces here to random people so that I don't own land in the region. Because I think that will make it so when I complete this mission, it will be the right way. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to grab this mission here and it will give us authority. Looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and revoke the privilege. We, of course, have a full revoke. August 1499. Not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that timing. So we'll demand oaths of loyalty. And we're looking pretty good.